Well, hello and welcome YouTube. Brandon Robinson back here with yet another brand new exciting video for you. If you are in that MLB kind of mood right here, then you'll be happy to know that this is going to be all baseball related. It's kind of an interesting thing I'm going to be doing here today. I'm going to be using Google Earth and trying to find and locate all 30 Major League Baseball stadiums um, blind. And like when I say blind, I mean no labels, no typing anything in, nothing like that. I'm just going to surf Google Earth until I find every single one of them. I'll have a stopwatch timer on as well. If I find the stadium, I'll probably stop the timer for a sec, look around the stadium and see like, oh cool, this is where it actually exists within its um, respective city. So it's just a fun thing to do here. A couple disclaimers with that though. I have been on Google Earth before. I use it a lot for certain things. So it's possible that I kind of know where some things are already. And I know I have the Braves game on in the background and a Braves hat and a Braves jersey. I'm not from Atlanta. Um, the Braves game just happens to be on. That's always up there. And I thought, hey, this matches with my shirt. So there's that. I'm actually a diehard Giants fan. I am a diehard Braves fan, but I actually live uh, around the Bay Area in California. And that's actually where I'll probably flock to first here. So what we're going to see here, this is Google Earth. We have Google Earth, uh, if you look at the screen right there. And then here's the list of all the different... Um, teams and their stadiums and such and i'm not going in alphabetical order i'm just going in the order that either that i find them by accident happy accident or on purpose it probably from regions i'll probably go from west coast to east coast just whatever all around there um this video is going to be cut up in a lot of different ways so you don't have to watch me do this for a whole hour if that's how long that this thing takes because who knows how long it's actually going to take for me so um, without further ado, I think I will start here in just a moment. Um, I see Chipper Jones fan cut out in the background right there. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and try this thing out here. I haven't done something like this before. So let's see here. Ready, set, start timer now. Okay, and starting the timer, I'm going to start by flying into California where I live. I'll even show you my old house to start with. It doesn't matter because I don't live there anymore. Uh, because I know where these things are. The San Mateo Bridge. My pool area is right. All right, that's where I used to live. This house right there, right there. Perfect, beautiful. All right, now I live somewhere up near Sacramento. Giant Stadium, Oracle Park is right along the bay. If you know McCovey Cove, it's the San Francisco Bay Area. There it is. We are looking at, ladies and gentlemen, Oracle Park. Stop timer here. There's McCovey Cove right there. San Francisco skyline out there in the background. Uh, shoot, I cannot remember all my tower names, so I'm sorry about that. That's the tallest building in San Francisco now. It's not very tall. Transamerica buildings right there in the background. Barry Bonds owns this place. Now, Oracle Park, uh, formerly known as AT&T Park, formerly known as SBC Park, formerly known as Pacific Bell Park. Giants started out here in 2000. This was home for Barry Bonds for eight years from 2000 to 2007. You know, you got to hit a shot even just to hit a splash hit down the line, right? 366 feet, 370 feet about, you know, and on a fly. You got to hit a shot here. I know Bonds has hit some out like this far right here in the 500. So he's definitely owned this place for sure. Anyway, there is Oracle Park right there. It's a beautiful stadium. There is no bad seat in this house. I've been all over this stadium. It is quite amazing. Downtown and then it once more Oracle Park. Very beautiful. St oh, where is it? Oracle Park. Very beautiful stadium right there on 3rd and King in San Francisco. So again, I'm doing this without labels, guys. Zooming it out again. Doing this without labels. And there was the first one I found in 30 seconds after finding one of my old houses. One of my two old houses because I just moved to my house that I'm in right now last year. I didn't look for my other most recent house. So let's strike out San Francisco Oracle Park. And there is one down. Let's go and start the timer again right now. And let's go and look at Oakland Coliseum. And I'll give you other names for it here in a second. If you take 92 and you go to 880, we hit 880 and it's off. Oh, here it is. It's at Oakland Coliseum. Let's let it process. Boom. Stop the timer right there. And, uh, of course, the Raiders are now moved out of the Oakland Coliseum. Um, you can kind of see the dirt right there for the Oakland Coliseum as it would be. Raiders are now going to be playing in Las Vegas. The uh, Warriors used to play right here at Oracle Arena. Oracle Park is the Giants name as of last year. Oracle Arena it was this one. Uh, the Warriors now play at the Chase Center. It's actually really close to the Giants Stadium. They do tarp off the top deck for baseball stadiums here. This is the far off in center field one right there. I can tell this video is going to be long if I talk like every stadium like this. I'm not going to. This is where I'm from. That's why I talk about these things. And um, not many stadiums have 
parking lots all around anymore because they inject them right into the heart of the cities, which is probably where I'm going to be able to find most of the stadiums that I do. I'm going to find the general area of that downtown, and that's where most of the stadiums probably sit. I know a lot of the exteriors of ballparks as far as I've just seen them, blimp shots. I, I, I love looking at stadiums. That's part of why I'm doing this right now. I'm so fascinated by them and just their construction. So I'm crossing off Oakland Coliseum right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move on here. I'm going to press start. And to do this next, I'm likely going to SoCal after this because we've done Oakland, San Francisco. Let's go ahead to San Diego, Los Angeles, things like that. So I'm gonna zoom out here because I know California more than anything else is where I travel. We have Monterey Bay right here. And as we go further down, probably around the uh, Santa Monica, Santa Barbara, LA area, easy way to find um, areas is look for a lot of city. So here's a lot of city right here. I'm assuming this is probably Los Angeles. Let's find downtown LA, let's do that. You know, the way that I wanna imagine this is pretend like I was Superman or Neo from the Matrix and I'm flying all around the world here, just just here I go. You know, I don't have any certain labels and stuff for myself to find, so I gotta find these things myself. So let's see, where is downtown LA? These buildings should be popping up. There we go. Buildings should be popping up 3D. I'm trying to find downtown LA by finding my buildings. All right, okay, I've been to LA before. My sister lives in LA right now, actually. Uh, it would be easier if I found how I found... Oh, here it is. So here's Los Angeles. There we go. Now, Dodger Stadium isn't right there, but you can see downtown from behind its home plate area in the Chavez Ravine, and it's hilly. So I want to say it's somewhere over... You know, it's kind of... Oh, here it is. It's so, sometimes it's easier to just zoom out and just look for a ballpark. So here's Dodger Stadium. Press stop. Three minutes in. So a minute in a ballpark, maybe. And these are ones that I know of. So this, this might take a lot longer than you think. Dodger Stadium right here in Chavez Ravine. A um, couple tidbits. Again, I can give facts for stadiums that I do know quite a bit about here. The colored seating is supposed to represent that of kind of like a sunset. As you can tell, it's kind of it's kind of near the ocean, you know, Los Angeles surfer dude kind of thing. So the sun setting, uh, yellow, orange, and blue sky, etc. Uh, Dodger Stadium is also very old. This would compete near a stadium as far as an old stadium. Uh, but the Dodgers did move from Brooklyn. Ooh, Dodgers might be the third oldest stadium. They moved from Brooklyn to here, maybe in the 50s or 60s. I don't know what. A's might have moved in the 70s. So it might be the third oldest stadium, actually. Uh, the stadium is actually divided into sections, and what I mean by that is sections that you cannot enter into another part of the area of the ballpark in. So, for example, left field, these bleachers right here. You do not have access to any other part of the park from these bleachers right here. Same with right field. What I mean by that is, if your bathroom is clogged, <laughs> if you want to find Dodger Dog, you know, whatever, if you want to find certain things or go to certain places, you can't. Your ticket does not work for that, and there's no concourse that goes there. So you enter the ballpark in this area, and that's where you go. You enter an exit there. You can't even enter right field from there. And then, uh, so it's divided into four sections. It's one, two, the main area, three, and four is the very, very top right here. Unless they changed anything, this top is a different section. And I don't know if you saw in 3D how this parking lot right here, it's very, it's very high up. It's parking lot. See how it goes all the way up here? This is the parking lot for the top section right here. This is where they would enter. Other people would enter on the sides here, something like that. So Dodger Stadium here compared to the Pacific Ocean is over there. Dodger Stadium compared to, there it is, compared to uh, downtown LA is right there. That's what I was talking about. It overlooks, if you've seen the Fast and the Furious, then you know the shot that I'm talking about. Uh, okay, that's enough about Dodger Stadium because otherwise this video is going to be forever. So let's go ahead and first cross it off the old list here. Los Angeles Dodgers, Dodger Stadium. Now we're going to, whoops, I bolted it. Now let's go to Los Angeles Angels, Angel Stadium and start the timer. It's not in Los Angeles. They're called the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. They are in Anaheim, which is further south than LA. If you drive on five, I assume this is five here. If you drive on five, eventually you'll find it. Oh, that's not a freeway. I think I found it. Here it is, right? That was a happy accident, but I did find it. Stop the timer. So Angel Stadium right here. Used to be called Edison International Field. Um, I don't know if there was a name in between that. A lot of different renovations took place in this stadium. Look at old parts of this stadium. If you see the movie Angels in the Outfield, I think it's the same ballpark as it was way back when. And they've taken out the entire second deck. They've added the rocks. A lot of different things have gone here. Uh, early to, uh, 2010s or so, they added this scoreboard right here. Is that Highway 5? This might be Highway 5 right here. I can't tell. Um, I don't know. This is Highway 5 right here. There's the big one. And this might be Disneyland 
right there. You said you're going to look at stadiums. Why are you looking at other things there? Let's see. Is that Disneyland? I think so. Matterhorn. Yep. Disneyland Angel Stadium. Again, it's in Anaheim. Let's go ahead and move on. Los Angeles Angels Angel Stadium. Check. All right. Let's start the timer and let's find the Padres. I think it's the last stadium in California I got to find here. So San Diego, I know where that is. I went to San Diego State. Here's San Diego right here. Downtown San Diego is right here. And Petco Park is in downtown San Diego. There it is. Looks like they're setting up for something else there. Stop the timer. Petco Park here, if you want to check it out in reference to downtown San Diego. It's right in the heart of it. Very beautiful area. Petco Park is an exquisitely beautiful ballpark inside and out. And that includes the sights and sounds that you see. I remember when it was under construction in the very early 2000s, and all I saw was a big parking lot with this Western Metal Supply Co. building. It was just, it was just a big parking lot there, and they're like, there's a building, and they're going to build a stadium around this building. I was like, what are they talking about? And when they built it, and I saw it, I was like, what the heck is that? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see there. And uh, they obviously changed everything on the inside of that. It's very expensive tickets to go inside there because it's kind of like luxury suites now. And there are seats all right there. I believe this is the Expo Center where you go to Comic-Con. There's a hotel here called the Omni Hotel, unless they change the name. It's called the Omni Hotel. And uh, it, it, I, I guess from up here, you can maybe see some action of the park if you got a view right there. But there's a little skywalk, sky bridge right here, where you can enter the park from the hotel. Obviously, if you have tickets, that helps a lot more. But, you know, you don't have to change your parking or anything like that. I guess you wouldn't anyway. The point is, you don't have to cross the street. It's just a nice, fancy thing there. Anyway, they keep building out these hotels and stuff and condo, or condos and such right here. We're all built out from 2003 onward. So they really started building things up around the park because, of course, a park brings a lot of attractions. All right, San Diego, Padres, Petco Park, found. Let's go ahead and find the next one. We'll probably go to Arizona next. Uh, so it's going to start the timer. I don't know exactly where. In fact, I got to think about this here. I think Arizona is that because there are no borders here. I don't know where states start and end here. That's part of the challenge. That's actually one of the big parts of the challenge. California, uh, you know, Arizona, I think, is the next one over with California and then New Mexico, I do believe. So I'm going to find desert land and I got to find a city around here. Um, this may I don't know if this is Arizona. This may be Arizona or Phoenix. What I'm looking for is some idea of skylines. Um, let's see here. This is very, all right, here we go. I was gonna say, this is very busy. And there we found Chase Field. Way to fly in that. Now, remember, these are ones that I kind of know where they're supposed to be. Uh, wait until I find ones I don't know where they're supposed to be. Chase Field in Arizona, formerly known as Bank One Ballpark. I loved that name, Bank One Ballpark, by the way. Uh, retractable roof stadium right here. Um, the Diamondbacks are trying to get out of here, which is sad. I, I love this area and this field. I think it has to do with county costs. I don't know much about financial stuff. It has to do with taxes and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. I believe this must be where the um, Talking Stick Resort Arena, that's beautiful. I believe this is where the Phoenix Suns play and probably the Coyotes for hockey. There's a nice pool, one of the uh, highlight things of the stadiums. There's a pool there, obviously not very good for this uh, Google Earth. 3D stuff. You can have pool party stuff there. Obviously, it costs a lot to do that. All right, so there's Phoenix, uh, excuse me, there's the Diamondbacks, Chase Field. That's the uh, head of this alphabetically listed by city or location uh, team stuff. So I've found five, six stadiums so far. So let's go next to, uh, let's keep navigating forward. I think Texas is my next area to find things like the uh, Astros and the Rangers. So let's go further out, zoom out here, and Texas, that's Mexico. See, the problem is I don't know where Texas starts in Mexico, starts, whatever, except for like the Rio, the Rio Grande or De Plata or whatever. I don't know. I'm talking out of my butt right here if I say too much. And let's find the big cities of like Dallas and Houston and such. Now, I don't know which one's Dallas, like here, like here's big area, right? This is somewhere in Texas, I'm sure. I don't know which one's Dallas, which one's Houston, things like that. Here's big downtown stuff. I'm going to find something. I know I am. Here we go. This must be the tower one. Which one's that? This might be Dallas. Let's see if we can find Minute Maid. What's this? AT&T. Ooh, this might be Dallas. That might have not been the Astrodome. AT&T Stadium is the name Dallas. I think this is Dallas, guys. In which case, where's the, where's the Cowboys Stadium? I think I'm in Dallas right now. And I don't know where Houston is in comparison to Dallas or how far away it is, so... I think I'm in Dallas. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a Houston area. Big, big area though, right? So if I stay like this, I should be able to find something else that's very populated. Here's a big populated area. 
I don't know, it's Austin, San Antonio, the big skyline area, Toyota Center, that might be the Rockets, I do not know. I also need to find the Texas Rangers, which are in Arlington. I think this is the uh, Minute Maid Park right here. There it is. So, stop the timer. Boom, Minute Maid Park, it is, that's the problem, I'm looking for a diamond. There it is. I'm looking for a diamond, and I found the uh, roof covering here. Also retractable roof stadium. Too bad you can't see the stadium right here. This opened, I think, the same year, I think it opened 2001. And I really want to show you parts of the stadium to talk about it here. Beautiful area all around. I'm sure it gets very hot there as well. Um, they had a hill called Tal's Hill in center field. It's 435 or so feet away from home plate. Past the warning track, there's a nice green bump that was actually in play. And a flagpole was actually in play. And they removed not only the hill, but they placed a wall there so that it's no longer in play, which is just too bad. I really thought it was a cool feature of it. Um... Very close kind of left field wall. Uh, they call it the Crawford boxes. Uh, very close wall and left field kind of higher up as far as, you know, it's very Homer happy there, Homer friendly. So let's go and cross out Houston Astros, Minute Maid Park. Bye-bye. All right, let's move on. Let's try and find the Texas Rangers. Now they're in Arlington. I not only don't know where Arlington is, but I also don't know how big it is area-wise. It might be right next to one of these other places. Now, they used to play at the ballpark in Arlington. That's how I first learned that they played in Arlington. Um, Globe Life Field, I, I believe the ballpark in Arlington was renamed to Globe Life Field. I think there was even another name in between that. But then their new stadium is now called Globe Life Field. So Globe Life's like, yeah, we're going to keep you guys. You know, do the Cowboys play in Arlington? Is that it? What's this? Because because I think Arlington's bigger than just a, you know, like a one-horse town. Do the Cowboys play in Arlington and not in Dallas? That that suddenly sounds like something that I... Was this Dallas? That suddenly sounds like something that I know. So if you're called the Dallas Cowboys, but if you play in Arlington, maybe Arlington's nearby. So what I want to find, if that's true, I can look for either the ballpark in Arlington, excuse me, Globe Life Field. Well, actually, I don't know. See, this is... The uh, Rangers just moved to their new stadium this year. Like, literally, they just played their first game there two days ago. I don't know if it'll be under construction or existing here on Google Earth because some satellite image are, you know, satellite images are outdated. So I don't know where I'm going to find. I just got to find busy, busy areas first. And I got to find something that resembles a stadium or ballpark. This is what's going to cut into a lot of my time here because I don't know. Texas is huge. See, you have to find where highways merge and stuff and big things. What's this? This, this is a big city. Oh, it's not huge, but that's a city. Okay, I don't know where Arlington is. This is obviously where time's going to skip a little bit. I swear the Cowboys play in Arlington, Texas. So I, I'm going to guess it's nowhere outside of this... Ooh, space. I'm going to guess it's nowhere outside of this region. That's my guess, because I, I do think that's Dallas. Maybe I'll put a pause on the Texas Rangers Park, Globe, Globe Life Park. What's this? No, not a very fanciful area. Is this an airport? All right, and check this last area here. If this isn't it, was this that other place I already saw? I don't know where I am. I don't know where Dallas is anymore. I got to use that cheating without knowing exactly what area it's in. And that's what I, I'm, I'm nervous as a Braves fan where their new, where Truist Park is because it's not in Atlanta. It's in a, it's in a different, it's in a new county, like an hour away from Atlanta. Okay. I don't know where this one is. So I wasted, I didn't waste a lot of time, but I, I, uh, Eliminated where it's not. I think they're near all these. I mean, here's Texas, right? Here's that Houston area. This is cool. I'm zoomed out way far. Here's like a lot of Mexico. That's the Houston area. That's the Dallas area. You can see these from here, right? That's kind of neat because everything else is so deserted. Literally. Um, all right. So I did not find Houston. Where do I want to go next year? If I go further east, well, let's look at Kansas, Kansas, Kansas City, things like that. Uh, St. Louis and the Royal. Uh, Royals and such. So if I know my states well enough, Texas, all right, so Texas is here, right above it's Oklahoma. And right above that, I think, is Kansas. So Kansas area might be here. Here's some populated areas. I'm going to look at these two places here. And next to Kansas, of course, is Missouri. Kansas City is part of Missouri and it's part of Kansas. So I am, I think, I think that's how it works. So I'm going to look and see if this might be part of Kansas or Kansas City, what have you. So I'm looking for the Royal Stadium. Royal Stadium is not right in downtown area, but it is right next to the Chiefs Stadium. Well, it, it might be next to it, but it, it looks like you're driving in kind of plain area for a while. If I find a downtown, I don't know what Kansas looks like. 
this might be a little more this might be one of the wichita things something like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna look at this one first this is a lot smaller and as it's further east i might be looking at this might be the mississippi river for all i know this is here's something here's something no what is this okay hang on hang on a second this could be the the box center is that a stadium is that a is that oklahoma city is this oklahoma city is that where the thunder play Ooh, this might be Oklahoma City. Wait, if that's Oklahoma, then I'm... Ugh, maybe this is... Maybe up here. Go. Maybe I'm too far south still. What's this? This is... Very plain-looking areas, in my view. Wichita! I'm in Kansas! The Wingnuts, but I'm not in Kansas City. Good, I've got an identifier. I got a locator there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and find St. Louis on top of finding that. So if that's Wichita, let's see if this is Kansas City, because there's more Mississippi right here. I don't know where St. Louis is in compared to Kansas City, so that's the other hard part about this. I'm, I'm looking for downtown places. That's what I'm trying to do first. I'm trying to find the heart of these states. I've already been here. I've already been here. And I'm convinced that might be Oklahoma City. So let's look at this area. This is a project, guy. I, I, this this is a project among projects to try and do this. I challenge anyone else to try and do this as well. And you can clearly see I did not practice this before. <laughs> and this was not rehearsed. Doesn't look like a big. What's this? Doesn't look like a big area to be Kansas City or St. Louis. So, okay, Wichita. Was this Wichita? Oh, maybe this is a different place. Hang on. I don't remember if this is Wichita. Or not what's this oh wait oh here we go chiefs chiefs royals kansas city royals see here's what i was talking about it's not like right in downtown it's this green area kind of like the braves park i think is gonna be a green area too which might make it easier to find stop the timer and kansas city royals ewing m kaufman stadium or just known as kaufman stadium beautiful maybe not in the exterior but beautiful ballpark because of the fountains because of the renovations very beautiful ballpark, but of course it doesn't overlook any downtown anything. It overlooks greener pastures here. Um, from the other side, it's kind of cool how this this upper deck kind of just lowers into itself right there. But you know, it doesn't make it feel very grand. And these light towers right here with that king-like scoreboard, Royals. But they really built this out, guys. If you it, look at old photos, find find type Kauffman Stadium old into here. None of these seats were there. There were fountains. None of these seats were here. It was green lawns. This part maybe had some seats right here. I think the seats used to be red. I can't remember. Now these seats are blue here. Very beautiful. Yeah, cool cool stadium right there. Now looking around, <laughs> that, that might be a downtown way over here. So this, this might be Kansas City right there. I don't know where the airport is either. We'll take a look as I zoom out again. This must be downtown Kansas City right here. All right, Kansas City Royals Ewing M. Kauffman Stadium is out. I think they just call it Kauffman Stadium. All right, so let's go and hunt. Boom. Let's find the Cardinals, St. Louis. If Kansas City is in St. Louis, or is in Missouri and Kansas, then I'm on the eastern part of Kansas and the western part of Missouri. Maybe over here. Yes, here's Mississippi. This must be St. Louis right here. There it is. Perfect. Boom. Found it. Bush Stadium. All right. Here we go. It is the Mississippi River. I don't know if the other thing was Mississippi River or not, but Bush Stadium, St. Louis, Missouri. Now, the one thing about St. Louis that, that's that's unfortunate, or the Cardinal Stadium was unfortunate, is they were doing a lot of this construction for a long time. All you could see over here was the Capitol building way over there out in the stadium, and there's just a dirt lot and stuff because they're building parts to make to fill this place out a lot. They have this ballpark village right here, nice and beautiful area right there. It's outside of the stadium because there's a road right here. I do know this because I've seen this not on Google Earth. I've just seen images before. This is outside the stadium, outside of the gates, and all this ballpark village is all right here. Very beautiful area. Seats on top. Roof deck, you can see there. I don't know what else to say about the park other than it's very beautiful. So if you if you overlook it, oh yeah, you get the gateway arch as well, of course. Gateway arch is right there. Beautiful shots of St. Louis. I don't know a lot about St. Louis, like in, in and of itself, to be honest. I don't even know where the old Bush Stadium was or if it still exists. Um, beautiful. All right. So I found St. Louis Cardinals Bush Stadium right there. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and keep moving on. I'm not going to press play until I think about what I want to find next. Okay. Let's look for Atlanta and Florida, I think, next, and then go up the East Coast area in Washington and such. I'll just keep, I'll keep rimming around the southern part of that unless I see anything else. So I'm going to look for Atlanta next. 
I think, I guess. Start the timer, zoom out. St. Louis, let's go back north, south, east, west. There we go, compass north. And, oh, St. Louis is a lot further north than I imagined. You know what? Let's go up north here. I see Michigan. <laughs> um, I know that Chicago is right on the shores of uh, Michigan thing, so it's probably one of these places here. Is this Chicago? This might be Chicago, right? Okay, this is Chicago. So let's, yeah, let's do this instead. Chicago is between this and that. I don't know why I'm doing that. Chicago is between one big place or the other. This looks bigger. So there's the Willis Tower, otherwise known, old, formerly known as the Sears Tower there. Um, so I know that Wrigley Field is the north side of Chicago, and um, Guaranteed Rate Field is the south side of Chicago. So let's look further north here. Wrigley Field is in a residential area. It's not, it does not see downtown Chicago. It does see some tall buildings, which might be one of these things right here. There are a lot of diamonds here. I'm going to look for one that looks like a stadium. Sammy Soso, where did you, I don't know how far Chicago goes. I just know it's on the north side. What? No, no, it overlooks it in the other direction. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's the problem. I can't see the diamond. Wrigley, well, I don't know if that was the problem, but there's a problem. Oh, there's the tall building that it overlooks. All right, Wrigley Field, I found you. We have Sheffield Avenue in right field right here, and Waveland Avenue over here in left field right there. Um, it seems like, oh, yeah, home runs will hit the roofs. Ah, those are far shots you got to hit. Never mind the facts that they are a lot farther than you'd think because left and right field and Wrigley Field are not close. They're 350 something. And then you got to pass a street and big sidewalk area. You also got to get height. The only person who I know of for sure that has hit the rooftop deck over here was Glen Allen Hill. And his shot was about 500 feet. You do not hit, uh, I don't know if that's true or not. It's just what their estimation is. You do not hit 500 foot bombs down lines. Sammy Sosa broke a window here before in game. Barry Bonds broke a window in one of these areas here at Sheffield Avenue. They've built out Wrigley Field a lot, lot, lot. They never had these scoreboards here and here. They didn't have any electronic scoreboards of any sort. This classic scoreboard, I think, has become also electronic. I, I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. And they've built out, you know, there used to be only a few rows here and then a few rows here. Not a few, but like, you know, 15 rows here. They've really expanded Wrigley Field. Not as much as they can. They've probably done a lot. But part of the lore of Wrigley Field, of course, is a big less is more thing. It's a classic ballpark look. You have this two decks right there instead of three. I forget if this or Fenway is the oldest stadium. One of them's like 1908, or that's when they did the World Series. I forget. But Wrigley Field's very, very old, but very, very renovated and up to date in some facets to make it a a modern, you know, a nice modern take on the on the park there. Of course, the prominent feature is the Ivy Wall, which uh, it's not Ivy at the start of the year, except for this year because we started in July. But you know, you have to wait for spring to kind of kick in and for it to grow that way. Okay, Wrigley Field, north side of Chicago, right there. It's pretty close to the water. Uh, it, this is the Windy City for a reason. It does have to do with water, and the water, the wind blows either in or out. I get watermarks, Google watermarks there for the water. That's really interesting. All right, so I found Wrigley Field, the Chicago Cubs. I didn't realize Missouri was that far north. I should have once I realized I was only in Oklahoma. When I was Texas must be huge. All right, Chicago Cubs, Wrigley Field. I'm going to find Chicago White Sox in the south side of Chicago. Not a residential area, but I don't think it's right in downtown either. Guaranteed rate field. Oh, start the timer. Guaranteed rate field. Here we come. Let's see here. This is the Bears Stadium Soldier Field. I love this area here. Look at that area of... Oh, I know this is part of my timer, but south side of Chicago. Let's just go down. Maybe they are in a residential area. It's harder to tell because it's a little more of an enclosed stadium. Uh, you'll see. Oh, wait, this might be it. I was expecting it to kind of face that way. That was uh, the north side. That was the problem. So guaranteed rate right field. Chicago White Sox right there. Uh, not one of my favorite stadiums. I don't like it very much. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I don't know why. Maybe I just don't like the White Sox that much. I'm not sure what it is about it. It's just just bland to me i there are cool things about it it's, it's unique whatever but it's symmetric it's you know just a round circular configuration there only one deck you know like <clears throat> basically you know like when you hit a home run there's nothing fancy you're gonna hit renovations have been made this is a renovation in and of itself center field has seen a lot of renovations forget what it used to look like in center field but it you know batter's eye you can't do too much with it uh, what is surrounding guaranteed rate field here? I guess, well, it's kind of residential. I take it back. It is kind of an older stadium as well. I don't know how old the White Sox are, but you know, not one of the newer stadiums. All right. So Chicago White Sox guaranteed rate field is targeted and located. Speaking of targets, that was no pun intended here. I might go find Minnesota Twins and Detroit Tigers next. 
Detroit's in Michigan, Minnesota, do it that way. I'm going to do Minnesota first so I can then go back the other way. Minnesota, if I can picture this here. Chicago is in Illinois. Okay, so I'm in Illinois, right? So what what was this other... Okay, I'm going to start the timer here. What was this other place up here? What is this? Because it looked populated. Okay, I don't know what this is, what this city is. I don't know if this is... Um, I don't know if I'm still in Illinois even. What's this? Milwaukee. Oh, Milwaukee. Oh, Brewers. Shoot. Okay, so this is Milwaukee. All right, let's find the Brewers next. So we're in Milwaukee. Miller Park. Miller Park. I know it's not right in downtown. Milwaukee County Stadium was not right in downtown. I've seen a lot of exteriors because I remember when Miller Park was thereabouts. Or sorry, County Stadium was thereabouts and you saw Miller Park and I didn't see it downtown unless it was right in the back portion of it. Happy accident that I'm running into Milwaukee here. Now I just got to find Miller Park. And Miller Park is also a retractable roof state. Here it is. I was going to say, Miller Park is also a retractable roof stadium, so it was possible that it was closed off and I wouldn't be able to find it. I forgot Miller Park kind of has a pizza slice kind of look to it. Very triangular here. Miller Park, I want to say 2001, kind of same time as the Astros and the Tigers. I don't know much about Milwaukee in and of itself. I clearly didn't even know that that was Milwaukee. Uh, Milwaukee is Wisconsin, so we're now in Wisconsin instead of um instead of illinois so i don't know if chicago must be on the north side of wisconsin or what i don't know what else to say about this place uh well there's some stuff on the uh, here let's look inside of it we haven't done that yet so inside miller park here we have the i don't know how google images does all this 3d stuff there's a cool slide that's one of the famous features of this park right here the slide when they close the roofs though they, they close these panels i do believe so it makes it kind of like that they do the same thing in arizona by the way they close the roofs they often close the panels as well I don't know if it gets hot here. I wouldn't think so because they're, you know, north where Minnesota is and things like that. So I don't know why they, maybe it gets rainy here. I don't know why they chose the retractable roof thing. I'm not saying you need to have hot weather or a lot of rain to have a retractable roof place. But again, I don't, I don't know. So there's Miller Park right there. Let's go ahead and cross that one off. Boom. Happy accident that I found it. I'm sure I would have went back to the list and said, oh, shoot, got to think of that. So, if, if, OK, start the time. If I zoom out here. So we're in Wisconsin. So Green Bay. I don't know where Green Bay is, guys, compared to Milwaukee. I didn't know Milwaukee was on the water, but this is the thing. I didn't know if this or this was Chicago is what I was saying. Chicago was a little bigger. There we go. I'm going to do Minnesota first before I do Detroit because Detroit and go further east. So I know that Minnesota I don't know where the borders are, but I know that Wisconsin is like that curve. It curves whatever Minnesota works the intersection of the curves. So Minnesota, because you can see popular, this might be Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis or St. Paul or whatever. Twin Cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul. I don't know if that means they're next to each other, but the Twin Cities is why they called Minnesota Twins. Here's a big area. Is this Minnesota? Oh, 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 there it is. Target Field, Minnesota. So we've hit Minnesota, and, and if you're thinking that I knew where this was, guys, let me just go back again, zoom out, and tell you what I was looking for. Okay, do you see that? That's a populated area, and I said Minnesota's next to, you know, Milwaukee. So I, St. Paul might be with Minnesota. I don't know if they're adjacent cities, if like, oh, this is Minneapolis, and St. Paul, I don't know. Anyway, so this is Minneapolis, I think. I think that's where they are. Um, there's a skyline. I didn't know too much about that. I did know Minnesota or uh, Target Field was in downtown Minnesota because, of course, when you look at these shots right here, you can see there's downtown. I don't know much about it. Uh, it's Newark Stadium. Uh, 2000. I don't have years for you guys. I'm not fact checking. I'm I'm giving you as much baseball knowledge as I know. 2010. Eh, maybe. I don't know if there's a Target nearby. Like, oh, here's Target, or if there's a parking garage. I have no idea. Uh, kind of high wall right here and high wall right there. Kind of bigger park. I don't want to say it's a pitcher's park, but kind of a bigger park because of those aspects right there. I don't know how the wind blows here. This uh, the stadium seats slant right there. I always thought that, that looked weird when it was under construction. I've I've grown married to the idea now that I kind of see it in fruition. It makes it unique and interesting. They had other designs for their new stadium at one point. Um, it looked really bad, and Target Field looks a lot better here. The outside looks great. There it is. Let's cross that off the list. Minnesota Twins, we are done there. Let's go ahead over to... I think Detroit next. I'm going to start the timer. And I think Detroit Tigers come next there as we go to Michigan. So Michigan, so I don't know where Michigan State starts and ends, but I know that this, I think, is the heart of Michigan stuff here. So here's a big city area. Let's let's look here first. I'm starting to learn the idea that cities are built. Here it is. <laughs> I'm starting to learn the idea that, that big cities are built by the water. Comerica Park. Comerica Park, home of the Detroit Tigers. I do like the stadium. Comerica Park. I think it came out the same year as the Giants or a year after. Again, 2001, 2000, same, same kind of time. 
Uh, they used to have further out wall. So this, this used to be the dimensions here. Come out here and go right up against here and then left field wall. It was deep. I'll admit it was deep. Uh, now that the bullpen's there, they cut it in a lot more. I don't know why we don't see the outfield wall right here, but that is it. And there's a flagpole. You can't see it, but flagpole's right around here that used to be in the field of play. Still very much a pitcher's park. It's still very deep, uh, relatively so. It's 420 in center field. Uh, this is where the Detroit Lions play right here, Ford Field. Kind of an older looking downtown area right here. It looks like they built out. No, it's it's an older, Detroit's an older looking downtown doesn't look as like that like this is new i guess um detroit doesn't look very newish but i know again comerico is next to downtown detroit and there it is an old-fashioned look to it that i like but it's still again it has a modern take of old-fashionedness which is cool probably a cool place to see a game um but again old-fashioned is kind of two decks i like the home plate design there and the only stadium left to have this dirt trail because chase field used to have one a little thicker one and they removed it when they put in the new grass all right there's detroit detroit tigers cross it off where we go to next cleveland cincinnati let's go ohio's on the shore uh Cle um cleveland is on the shores of lake erie so i don't know if this is lake erie or if this is lake erie let's start with this one wait i see something nope well this might be in canada oh toronto i gotta see toronto too because toronto is uh because some of these things are near canada quebec and stuff i think cleveland is closer to the water or close, you know, I think it's on the shores of Lake Erie. So this must be a different city. I don't know. It's, let me triple check. And if, in doing so, maybe I can find out what this is. This must be Cincinnati or Cleveland. I mean, right here. This is on the shores of, what's that? That's the Cleveland Brown Stadium. So this is on the shores of Lake Erie right there. This is Lake Erie. Look how big Lake Erie is, guys. Huge. And I want to call it Jacobs Field there for a second progressive field let's stop that timer progressive field one of my favorite ballparks as far as i don't know it's one of my favorite ballparks guys i really love this stadium there's just a lot of cool stuff I, there's nothing in particular it's just everything as a lump sum makes me just love it it's one of the ballparks that's not newer i don't know 1990 something like that it's you know it's not 2000 newer but I, I just love the stadium. I don't know what to say about it. There's nothing fanciful that I like about it. It used to have the biggest scoreboard, I think, at one time. Obviously, other scoreboards got bigger. And I think this got bigger then again as a result. What I liked about this stadium, actually, when looking center field is that blend of not knowing where the stadium starts and ends. You know, I like seeing that in stadiums right now. Target Field has the same kind of thing. You'll see the same thing in Truist Park um, in Atlanta. You know, and Tommy would homer way out here. It's like, did he hit it out of the park? Is that in the park? It's just this nice blend of being integrated within downtown. Petco Park was the same way. Didn't know it was that close to the water when you're in there and when you're looking at it. But of course, as Cleveland is on the shores of Lake Erie, I do know. And I thought it was actually right next to this one. So the Brown Stadium. All right. So there's Cleveland, Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Cincinnati must be somewhere nearby. I don't know specifically where. I don't think it's necessarily right on the shore. So we'll look at other big city areas there. So Cleveland, cross it off. Let's go ahead and hit start again. And let's find Cincinnati Reds. But what is this? What? Oh, that was De Oh, this is Detroit. Oh, those aren't too far away from each other. Okay, so that's Detroit. Okay, everything meets downtown right here. Is this a downtown? That's a downtown something. Maybe Cincinnati. I don't know what downtown Cincinnati looks like. Cincinnati's Great American Ballpark. Ooh, it's on water. Great American Ballpark is on water, like river water. So hang on, because Great American Ballpark, I used to think there was a chance they could hit it out of the park and into the water, like at Oracle Park, but it's too far. They can't. Is this? That's not river water anymore. Is this? Shoot, where my water? Is this water still? Oh, wait. I looked too much at the water. I didn't look at stadiums. What's this? Ohio State Buckeyes. I don't know if they're in Cincinnati. Maybe this isn't it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not Cincinnati. This is still Ohio State, huh? This is on the other side of uh, that water there. Interesting. Okay, maybe not Cle or Cincinnati. So if that's not, because maybe that's Columbus, maybe it's Dayton, maybe it's, maybe this is Cincinnati. Ah, there's bigger water. There we go. The other thing looks like a small, well, this looks small as well. Water. I just like to follow water because I'm going to find Cincinnati. Oh, wait, this, that, what's this? Maybe this is Cincinnati right here. It's another downtown, that's for sure. What's this? Lucas Oil State. This is Indianapolis. This is, we're, we're in Indiana, guys. We're in the wrong place. All right. So the Bengals Stadium might be near the Red Stadium as well. And it might be on water. 
So I don't know how big Cincinnati is. There was Cleveland, I think. Let's look at this. This oh, this is big water right here. Here we yeah, what's this? That's football. That's Pittsburgh. Oh no. Okay, well, happy accident. I found Pittsburgh. This is one of the big, I forget the river's names. There are three rivers that meet in Pittsburgh, right? We, we, I found PNC Park, one of the most glorious looking stadiums, considering the exterior, one of the most glorious, gloriously looking stadiums here. Oh, what's it called? What river is it? The Allegheny River. I love the blend of green with their black and gold and such. Pretty far left field. Pretty far left field, guys. It goes out to like 415 or so out there in left center. Uh, right field, relatively closer. Right there. Hitting it out of the park is possible. It has happened. People, I, Rob McCoyak, Josh, Josh Bell, some, some, uh, some road road players. David Ortiz did it in the home run derby. I think they played in Pittsburgh in 2006 home run derby uh, at All Star Game. This came out, um, I think, a year after the Giants, so I think 2001 as well. A lot of stadiums came out around that time. Uh, 2000, 2002. It was the Giants, the Mariners, the Astros, the Pirates, the Brewers. Phillies came out a hair later, and I'll look for Phillies as well, but I got to find the Reds as well. This is PNC Park. Very great looking on the outside as well as you walk there. This is an exterior. This is not inside the stadium right here. All right, Pittsburgh Pirates, PNC Park. Happy accident? Somewhat. I would have been able to find Pittsburgh because it's where, hey, three rivers <laughs> meet up. Uh, I got to find the Reds still and the Phillies. I'm, so now Phillies and Reds are my next two things. So I know Pittsburgh and Philadelphia are not next to each other. I have trouble thinking about what's north of Pennsylvania, if so. So I'm guessing this is Pennsylvania. In Ohio, I'm guessing is here. So I got to find Cincinnati. I didn't check. But I know Great American Ballpark is on Riverwater. In fact, their old stadium, Synergy Field, used to be called Riverfront Stadium. I think. Riverfront Stadium. So it's on a river. So if that's Cleveland, I got to find a river And this is big. Oh, okay. All right. Cincinnati was far away. Okay, I found it. All right. It was kind of... Okay. Ohio's bigger than I imagined it was. And Pennsylvania's bigger than that, too. So I'm going to imagine those are pretty far. So the Bengals Stadium right here, football stadium. Here's that river I was talking about. You know, when I look for river, I'm looking for blue. Keep forgetting that rivers can be kind of muddy and murky and brown, especially when you're not getting sky reflections with satellite images all the time. Great American Ballpark. I Everything about this ballpark makes it an A effort. What's missing is a good team and a good, you know, crowd following with this stuff as well. Beautiful on the water. Love the name. The exterior is really cool as well. It's very white if you look at photos. Uh, you know, there's a lot of white to it. It's not the most beautiful water, which is very cool. Uh, the smokestacks here was a renovation that came a little later with this kind of boat looking feature, the pilot house. Yeah, it is next to downtown Cincinnati as well. It's next to uh, the Bengal Stadium right here as well. I don't know the Bengal Stadium's name. Very small, hitter-friendly park. Very hitter-friendly park right here. Now, I talked about, because I used to see images, and you know, you see an image like this right here, and you say, oh, look, if you can hit it out of the park in right field, you can hit it on the water. Well, if you go ahead and look up like this and zoom out, you'll find out, well, the water is actually very far away. Let me use the distance measuring tool one more time here to figure this thing out. We're looking at 600 feet away. So you're not going to hit it to the water here if you hit it out of the park. U.S. Bank Arena, Cincinnati. Who plays in the U.S. Bank Arena? Okay, so that is Cincinnati. So I get to check that one off the list. Did I check? I check off Pittsburgh. So Cincinnati Reds, Great American Ballpark is done. I love that name though. And again, is that a bank or something? Great American Bank? It's a beautiful name for a ballpark right there. I love it. Cincinnati's off the list. I think next I'm going to look for the Phillies. Let me make sure there's nothing else before that. Oh, and the Blue Jays. I got to look for the Phillies and the Blue Jays. And then I'll look at the East Coast team. So let's start this up again. There's Cleveland. Where did I say Phil uh, Pittsburgh was? This Pittsburgh, Three Rivers. Boom. So Philadelphia is not near. Is not near Pittsburgh, I'm going to say there. All right, well, hey guys, uh, I'm actually back here at it again. Um, a lot of things came up last, this is a new day, it's Monday now. I got Diamondbacks and Padres here in the background. Um, and a Diamondbacks hat, there you go. It's always gotta match the clothing, if you know what I mean. Uh, things got in the way, I had to tutor last night, and then I had to eat, and then just a bunch of different things. I just decided to just save it. I'm still in the same, I, 
I don't think I touched this thing, the Google Earth, so I'm still in the same place as I was before. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, still the same part of the timer and such. Let's go ahead and continue this. I don't remember where I last was. I know Ohio. Okay, Cincinnati. We saw the Pirates. I must have not... Have I seen the Phillies yet? I haven't seen the Phillies or the Blue Jays. So let's look for those two now. Let's go ahead and continue this project. And I will go ahead... I kind of forget how I did this now. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. Three, two, one, go. All right, so I think think because because this looks like the big area these are the three rivers that's where pittsburgh was it's really fun to do this actually guys this is kind of a fun project thing just want to see that again so there's pittsburgh so philadelphia has to be another area because pennsylvania is like rectangular right so philadelphia has to be another area that i don't know is this like i don't know what this is for example i don't see any downtown stuff here yet it's really easy to find downtowns because you know, like where all the roads meet like all the roads meet in downtown you see all the skyline stuff there. So I don't know what this place is here. I don't know if that's even Pennsylvania. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to search up here first because I don't know where can Canada starts, U.S. ends, but I'm going to look at some of these bigger towns right here and see if any of these could potentially be Toronto or a happy, like, what's this? Home of the Bisons. I don't know where that is. Is that Buffalo Bisons? Is that New York? Does New York go that far? That might, is that Buffalo? What's this place here? So I said, I know Toronto's on the water somewhere. I'll find Philadelphia after Toronto. I'm probably too far south still. And hence, zoom and hence. This could be Canada, right? This is huge. Here's a downtown area. What's this? Aha, Toronto. See, right on the water, right there. All right, let's pause this timer. All right, we are in Toronto right here. Look how beautiful Google Earth is able to do this. Toronto looks great, man. Looks clean, looks nice. It's a beautiful city. And sorry, I paused it because this is the Rogers Center, formerly known as the Sky Dome. They call it the Sky Dome, for those who, obviously all you guys are baseball fans, is that, you know, when it's not retractable roof closed, when it's open, half of, you know, it's kind of like a half dome. Uh, the uh, infield portion would not be covered and the outfield portion would be. I believe this is the hotel right here. So this is looking in from center field. There are some hotel rooms that actually have access to seeing ball games there, if they are there. So this is looking from home plate. And then you can see that if the roof's open, you can see that big, the CN Tower right there. All right, so that is Toronto. So that is in Canada across from Lake something. All right, let's cross out Toronto Blue Jays here and let's continue. I got to find Philadelphia. I think Philadelphia is a pretty big place, meaning, you know how, again, I can see all this. It's clear as day that that's what Toronto is. Is this, I can have another happy accident here. I don't know if I'm in DC or anything like that now place looks big here we go here's some downtown what does this city look like to you guys huh it's on the water i don't know if philly's on the water oh look at this oh we're in baltimore all right happy accidents pause this all right we have found look how big that warehouse is guys so i have just run across baltimore i think i would have been able to find baltimore pretty quickly because i know it's on the water i didn't know this is baltimore so we are in maryland so this is camden this is oreo park at camden yards people often just call it camden yards so this this is probably the inception of the modern ballpark look so indians orioles rockies maybe the marlins came into inception around then around this time here but this was really that modern ballpark look where it wasn't so cookie cutter with you know it wasn't all symmetric everywhere we got the high wall here it's open to the rest of everything else in the scoreboard it's it's very very cool looking here uh this is called utah street right here it doesn't look like it's drivable if you're there playing a game and you look from inside, the warehouse maybe can look a little bit closer than it is. Now, Ken Griffey Jr. in a home run derby did hit the uh, bottom portion of the warehouse here and was the only person at least known to do that as far as I'm concerned. So, I mean, see, that's a, look, that's a shot and it's elevated. You have to remember that. So it, Griffey's home run could have been, you know, 470 something, 480 feet to hit that. But look how big the warehouse is. You know, again, when you see it on TV, you, you just see this part right here. You don't realize it's this whole thing. I don't know if it's even in use. There's uh, Camden Yard. Oh, let's see the exterior of Camden Yards here. Eh, it's okay. It matches. It matches the city, which is something that I really like. Here's the Ravens Stadium here. But alas, we have found the Baltimore Orioles Oriole Park. I do want to find Philadelphia before I go into D.C. Pittsburgh. Okay, Pittsburgh. Philly's got... Okay, okay, what's this? It just looks too much like a strip of something to be a big city, but I could be mistaken. So, uh, one thing I know about Citizens Bank Park is it's actually not right next to downtown. You can see downtown with it from far away. 
but I don't know specifically where it is, you know, but from far away. Oh, what's this? I see a, something here. Um, clearly not Philadelphia. This is, oh, are these the Finger Lakes? So this, this must be New York, if these are the Finger Lakes here. So that must be Buffalo that, well, okay, I don't know where Buffalo is, but that very well could be Buffalo. So, and if Pennsylvania is near Buffalo, okay, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. I'm not sure. I might have to hold off just like, uh. The other thing. All right, let's look. Okay, I'm going to look for New York stuff. This is Manhattan. Here's uh, good old Manhattan right here. Because I know what Manhattan looks like, even from any sort of view. All right, uh, Manhattan, like said, clear as day. Now, the uh, Yankees don't play in Manhattan. Neither do the uh, neither do the Mets. But I don't know which borough is Queens and Bronx and such. So Manhattan is this guy right here. This is something... Maybe this is Brooklyn or so. I don't know. Staten Island. I don't know where Staten Island is, to be honest. What's this thing? What are you? Boom. Wimbledon. <laughs> Universal Studios, New York. Oh, hey, look at that. There it is. City Field. All right. We're in Queens. Pause it. We found it. Oh, their old stadium was uh, around here. Back when City Field used to have... So here's the orange line that represents the home run thing right now. This actually might be how it currently is. Back when, it used to be this guy right here, right here, right here, and then where the Big Apple is, kind of right there, and right around here. So it used to be far. They moved the Big Apple over. They didn't move the big scoreboard over right here. Big, glorious-looking stadium in a way. Not very many new ballparks are big anymore, except for retractable roof ones, and it's nice to get an open-air one that still has that grand, you know, three-deck feature uh, in the outfield so to speak. There's City Field, nice looking stadium. I do like the exterior there. Kind of reminds me of uh, when we find Safeco Field. Reminds me of kind of that part where it kind of curves through. I think there's a nice, uh, once you enter inside, I think it's a nice looking uh, area there. I remember seeing that when it was under construction there. All right, so we're in Queens. Specifically, I think it's Flushing, New York uh, is the city, but Queens is the borough there. The Bronx. Oh, start the timer. So, uh, oh, and cross out that will even out the time that I started searching there. All right, cross that out. Let's find the Yankees now. So which one's the Brooklyn? Oh, wait. Oh, look at the... Oh, 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 there we go. Yankee Stadium. All right, stop. This is Yankee Stadium. Maybe this was... Uh, Bush Stadium might have been two, and this might be Yankee Stadium three. They might have had three Yankee Stadiums, and it's supposed to be the third one. Um, dimensions identical to the past Yankee Stadium, I do believe, however... Uh, because of the way it's built, and like with these parts right here, there seems to be some sort of wind tunnel that really helps the ball carry rather shallow dimensions when it comes to this part right here. And obviously it's not a high wall. So nice, nice cheap home runs can come into play there. It's a cool looking stadium. And, and I do like the look on the outside there and uh, parking lot. Not really. So I wonder how you, Oh wait, maybe right there. So I wonder how you really uh, get to a Yankees game here besides traveling by train here. And uh, yeah, there's Yankee stadium. So Yankee stadiums there. Now where I say city field was, I got to find a parking lot. Here's Queens. It was kind of near that water. Here we go. City Field. So City Field is there, about seven miles away from each other right there. I do the distance. 6.54. Six and a half miles away from each other there. Checked off. I really got to find Philly, guys. Let's go ahead and do that. And what else is around the area? Phillies, obviously DC, like I said, and then, oh, Boston and the Red Sox. Now, I don't know where Boston, is, like, I don't know where Massachusetts is compared to New York, so I'm just going to find places that are just populated. But again, Philadelphia is still my goal. Populated areas, populated areas. Let's find ourselves Philly. Nope. Don't tell me this is Baltimore again. What's this? Is this Philly? That looks familiar. I don't know if that's a Philly familiar. Where's the statue building? All right. Where's Citizens Bank Park if this is true? I know it's not right in downtown. I know you can see downtown from its... Yeah, here we go. Eagles. Ooh, I didn't know it was in the same place as the as Lincoln Financial there. All right, we are in Philadelphia. All right, and stop this thing. Going to check out Citizen, excuse me, Citizens Bank Park right here. Google Earth is really messing up the walls, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't stick out to me in any particular way necessarily. So you can see right here with Philly. See how downtown right there? It's, it's way out in, in the distance. It's way out in view. But uh, it's not right in downtown there. So this is kind of cool. So the street is elevated right there. It means the field's sunken down below the street, at least over there. Parking? You betcha, because they have football as well. And the Sixers, I assume, and the Flyers. Flyers and Sixers. 
So that's cool to see another area that has all these fields all in one together. I didn't know that. So yeah, I didn't know Philadelphia was on water. I think that was the problem. When I was zoomed, where's Pittsburgh again? I think this is Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh to Philadelphia. Let's see if Corey Matthews was right for 300 miles. 250. So, you know, you, you round it, you round up. When you're so sheltered in your own, you know, backyard, it's it's interesting looking at things from a different perspective. That's half the reason why I'm doing this, other than, hey, I'm finding these places. I like to see its surrounding environment and go like, you know, this is what this place looks like. And I think it's just, it's a fun venture. This is really fun to navigate. All right, so that's Philadelphia. Finally found that thing, because I'm searching since last night. Cross it off, and let's start again. I gotta find Washington, D.C. That shouldn't be hard. I don't know where I am anymore. Okay, this was Baltimore. All right. So Baltimore, I think Philly. Philly, Baltimore. D.C. would be further south because it's in Virginia. So let's keep going. I don't think D.C. is this close. Oh, my God. Is this D.C.? Is that is that the... Yes. Why, why is this flat? Why is Google Earth flat at the Capitol building? So I'm in D.C. now. I wonder if there I wonder if there are privacy restrictions or something. Maybe, maybe specifically, maybe this is actually Washington DC that's flat literally. Like so this part, where is it? So this part here, maybe that's not Washington DC. And then this is, which would be an interesting governmental cover up when it comes to that. So if I'm trying to find the national stadium, it might be flat. So I got to zoom out and be centered. Okay, is this this is RFK Stadium. This is where the Nationals started playing when they became the Nationals again in like oh four oh five something like that now it's a soccer stadium only it was always a multi uh, thing it looks like the nationals nationals park is not right there i don't know where it is specifically so let's kind of zoom out wait what's this nope i don't think it's gonna be right next to you know the washington monument specifically but okay interesting that dc isn't popped up that's that's weird and cool it's really there's the pentagon it's really close to baltimore that was baltimore here's dc i, I don't know how close that is but that it's close all right what's this this might be it right here yes nationals park and pause very cool with the color scheme that i uh, i like that um there was one year maybe it was when they were still the expos that they had to play in labbit park i forget if that was in they had to play something in puerto rico i think at some point i think they were going to make a labbit park this stadium reminds you of some of the other stadiums that have been built if that makes sense you know a lot of them are starting to become the same mold in this other vein. That's why I said City Field is nice to have that unique third deck in that way still. One thing I don't like about the Nationals Park is not only watching it on TV, but the broadcasters keep complaining. They broadcast from all the way up here. I think in Pittsburgh, they have to do the same thing as well. They're, they're broadcasting things all the way up on the top of the stadium. So they're like looking down, 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 down. And the camera is kind of like that, I think as well in Washington. It's kind of looking down, like blimp view like this. Uh, let's see how close it is to the DC stuff. Pretty close. I'm glad that DC has a baseball uh, baseball team. Ooh, Boston. We still gotta find Boston as well. So Washington Nationals alphabetically last. Let's go and find Boston, guys. Now Boston must be near New York. I don't even know if Rhode Island is an island. You know what I mean? I don't know like what. Okay, like I don't know what this is. I don't know what state this is. You're a horse race track. I don't think that's Boston, but I don't know. Oh, what's this? Oh, what are you? Where are we, guys? PNC Park? Huh. Trenton Thunder. We're in New Jersey. Okay. What are you? This is something. That was Baltimore. So that's DC. So I'm south of DC, which means I might be in Nashville or Memphis, guys. This might be, maybe I say Boston for later as well. What did I say this one was? Was this Boston? Did I not see this before? No. Where is Maryland? You know, I didn't look up here. Maybe this is Maryland up here. Uh, not Maryland, Massachusetts. Here's something. This looks kind of Boston-y. So let's Superman it and find Fenway Park. Oh, what are you? No. But Supercuts. Let's see. Pawtucket. This is Massachusetts. All right. Downtown Boston. Looking here-ish. Boston's not that big as far as a downtown skyline thing. Was that downtown or has to be? And Pawtucket was over here somewhere, right? Yeah, Pawtucket. Pawtucket socks. Yeah, the Pawtucket socks. Like, where are this? Where's the Celtics stadium? 
what I don't know if they play right in Boston. <laughs> you know, I don't know if this is Boston. It has to be though, right? Doesn't Boston, downtown Boston, look like this? Let's zoom out and see if there's another big city around here. I'll just, I'll keep that there. I, clearly, that has to be something like Boston, right? Hopefully, I can find Boston again after this. Maybe this is Boston. <laughs> now that I think of it, maybe this is Boston. <laughs> this looks a little bigger. Okay, maybe I was in the wrong place. God, I had no idea. Wait, hang on. I'm gonna. Okay, okay. Maybe this is Boston. No wonder why I couldn't find a park. This place looks a little bit bigger here. You know, you you convince yourself into thinking that something looks familiar, like something, and then you find out that it's not. I think is this DC. Fenway. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking at baseball diamonds here, and I'm looking at... See, Fenway... Oh, there it is. Yes, Fenway. There we go. Hey, we found Fenway Park. We're in Boston. All right, stop the timer. Jesus. There's downtown Boston. It's, it's nearby. Very, very small stadium like Wrigley. An older stadium, and they, uh, I think around 2003 or so, they started to build this out, putting in the uh, seats here, the electronic scoreboard right here. They knocked down this wall a little bit right there. They made this very much more fan-friendly in that way. They probably built out some parts behind it as well. Very classic-looking park as well. No matter what seat you have, because it's so small, you know, it really is. Like, the second deck stuff, you really feel like you're right over the field. I'm sure, and especially at the monster seats. That is really cool, feeling like you're right over the field there. Green monster, 37 feet high. Triples alley there, probably around 420 feet or so. Even right field, the pesky pole right here. See, when you look down this right field line right here, I think it's like 302 right down the line. That's right down the line. And it's a short wall right there. But it jets out so fast without covering much you know, ground. So if you, if you look at this from overhead, here's the right field line. And the wall is about parallel to this. So you go from hitting, you know, you're home to hit a home run, whatever. You go from hitting a home run right against the pole to if you go even just a couple degrees over, 302, you got to go a couple degrees over, and the ball, it goes to 375, and you're barely even hitting the right field. That is the hardest home run to hit in Major League Baseball. It has to be. All right, so I found Fenway Park. I'm sorry for searching through another city that clearly was not Boston. Scratch Boston Red Sox off the list there. We have how many more to go? We have six more to go. I'm going to find Atlanta and the Florida ones next. So race it, go. Let's zoom out. Okay, Massachusetts. Now that does look familiar, now that I think about it, that like boot thing, whatever it is, Massachusetts is there. All right, Florida. I want to go to Florida first. Florida's mostly green. And then you have this city right here. So, you know, that's nothing. Suddenly, boom, this is where they build. So let's look around here. Because I don't know if I'm, I'm in Miami, Tampa, Orlando. I know that from the Marlin, from Marlins Park, when the glass is open in left field, because they have a new stadium, when the glass is open, you can see downtown stuff in the distance. So, like, these things maybe. Like, this may be Miami. I think Miami's bigger than just those buildings right there. Those are pretty big buildings there. Whoa, the black abyss of the ocean? You know, Florida's kind of big. <laughs> that small place is kind of big. All right, here's a big area. Let's just, let's keep going down. Jeez, where's the bottom of this thing? Ah, here's here's a big area. See, if the, I assume this might be Miami. Pretty big buildings right along there, right? God, these aren't beaches though, right? So I don't know what this is, but let's see if we can find a stadium. Oh, Marlins Stadium. Here we go. I think. Yep, we got it. All right, stop the timer. So I expect Miami to be on the beach with sand. Kind of interesting. And you can see there's the Marlins Stadium, Marlins Park right there. There's downtown Miami. Like I said, from here, I, I love the exterior of this thing. The stadium itself, in some ways, leaves a lot to be desired. And then in other ways, it's it's nifty. It's just that it seems like there's a lot of vacant area, especially in this left center area. They filled it out a little bit. They do have the uh, structure. I don't know what you call this thing, which is always just weird. But just, you know, there's some vacant stuff there. And I guess it's just so they can let you still look out and see. There it is. See downtown Miami. Kind of interesting parking that it is retractable roof and it's big in that sense but inside it's not it's just not big big it's not like it goes far out to left field and stuff john carlos stanton can hit it off the glass the plexiglass there he could hit it out of the park if he needed to hit it far enough so 
Uh, interesting stadium in that it's big, but it's small. Like, it's huge from the outside, but on the inside, it's just it's not huge. All right, let's find Tampa. Uh, I don't know where Tampa is. I don't know what Tampa Bay looks like. But the other problem is Tropicana Stadium's a dome. Eh, that's not necessarily a problem. I think Orlando, Tampa, and Miami are probably their own thing. Like, I don't know if this is all Miami County or something, but so let's find other big places. What's this? This is something. Not huge. Is this a bay? Is this Tampa Bay right here? Maybe it's not on the coast. Hi, guys. Welcome to Tampa Bay. Now, they also have the Buccaneers Stadium. What's this? It's a football stadium. Texas A&M. North Carolina State. We are in North Carolina. North Carolina? That's not North Carolina. Georgia's right above Florida, I believe. And even if it wasn't, South Carolina would be there. What's this? Tell me something. Jacksonville. We're still in Florida. All right. But Jacksonville is not. Oh, maybe this is the Jaguar Stadium then. That makes sense. There's that kind of green stuff. I'm like, that's not a college football stadium. I said that in my head. Let's start looking on the west side of Florida's beaches because I haven't looked at this yet. Not big enough stuff. Not convincingly big enough stuff. The west side of Florida doesn't look like it has much. Or did I speak too soon? Well... What's a bay, right? San Francisco Bay. Maybe it's on the panhandle. Tallahassee is over here, right? Isn't Tallahassee one of these? Clearly didn't think it hard enough. Okay, I didn't look at this before. What are you? This is very downtowny. Maybe Orlando. Or maybe it can't be Tampa Bay if there's no bay nearby. I don't recare I don't recall. I've I've seen shots of Tropicana Stadium exterior. Tropicana Stadium's sorry. I think it's hideous. Outside, inside. In TV and real life. I haven't seen it in real life, but I, I imagine it seems hideous. Tampa Bay is not right in a... The Tropicana Stadium is not in a downtown thing. It's actually in... You know, people have described it to me. It's in a... I don't, I don't know if it's in a bad area, but it's not an easy park to get to when you want to consider time and stuff if you are a Tampa Bay citizen or, you know, whatever else. So it might be more residential stuff, but there's a lot of residential stuff here, right? It'd be hard to pick it out. But Tampa Bay downtown itself would be a nice place to determine where Tampa Bay City proper is. That way I could then find the stadium. So maybe it's not on the coast. And it's got to be near water if it's Tampa Bay. Just doesn't look big enough. What did I say about this place? Oh, look at this. What are you? Mm, not big. Some baseball fan you are, some U.S. citizen you are, not be able to find the stinking city. This is a bigger airport. Can you tell me what you're called? I want an identifier. Give me an identifier. Give me a name. That doesn't look big enough. But that could be a bay. I, I like how they have stuff like that where they can... Jesuit Tigers. I don't know where Jesuit is. I don't even know if Jesuit's the college or the city. Haven't seen a football stadium or a baseball stadium around you, that's for sure. I was thinking this is Tropicana. Nope. Perhaps Tampa Bay's by Jacksonville. Is this an airport? What is this? I got race. Oh, is this Daytona? I just don't see other downtown sections, you know? All right, I'm going to cheat for one second. I'm going to look at where Tampa, what Tampa Bay looks like. Tampa Bay. Just look at the downtown skyline and see if I can, so it's not huge, but at least it's by water. Okay, now we knew that, we knew it's by water, but it's not huge. Okay, there's a building with, there's a building with that and the weird looking building there, yeah. Okay, so I cheated a little bit. I needed to make sure that Tampa has a skyline of some sort. You know what might sound familiar suddenly? Tropicana Field might not be in Tampa Bay, Florida. It's nearby. It might be in St. Petersburg, Florida. That sounds familiar. So, and I don't think St. Petersburg is up here. I think St. Petersburg is down, not at Miami, but I think it's down there near Miami. I think I remember Tropicana Stadium or Field or whatever being near St. Petersburg, Florida. But the Buccaneers Stadium would be in Tampa, right? So Miami, one more time, Miami. Even though I've been trying to look for skylines. Okay, what are you? This could be Tampa Bay right here. We, we might have seen this place before, but it's Triangle Top. Where is that weird looking hotel building thing? Was that this? Okay, I think this is Tampa Bay. Now that I got to cheat a little bit, I think that these 
This could be Tampa Bay. Let's find an identifier because it's on the water. It's on the water. Does this picture look familiar to anybody? Let's say yes for now. Trump Plaza, the Alexander Hotel. Give me something Tampa. Okay, give me Raymond James Stadium. Let's get the Buccaneers Stadium here if it's Tampa Bay. Hmm, not getting an identifier and I'm not seeing a football stadium either, but I, I'm convinced this is Tampa Bay more so than I was convinced that that other place was Boston. I think you're Tampa Bay. I think you're Tampa Bay. Tell me a city, Alexander, tell me a city somewhere here, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Mandel, West Palm Beach. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this might not be Tampa. Is that not Tampa? Is this Palm Beach? Didn't I kind of think that I saw a picture of this building in that skyline thing? Can't this be Tampa Bay? This silly project, City Hall. What City Hall? Tampa Bay City Hall? Let's do this. I'm going to Google Tampa Bay City Hall. Oh, City Council. Tampa Bay City Hall. Ooh. Palm Beach City Hall. Uh-oh, we're in Palm Beach. Okay, we're not in Tampa Bay. Bye. All right, I'm getting kind of frustrated. I'm going to look for Brave Stadium, Truist Park. I'm going to look for Truist Park first, and I'll come back. Uh, I can't guarantee I'll find this either. I bet I can find Atlanta, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this other stadium here. So let's find a populated, like this kind of thing. I don't know if Atlanta goes this high up. Let's find a populated place. Mercedes-Benz Dome, I think it's where the Falcons play. So I think this is Atlanta, like this. That's... Okay, that's Turner Field of old. It's not right in downtown. And there was old Fulton County Stadium's uh, <laughs> design right there. That's where Hank Aaron played. Truist Park is about an hour out, apparently. It's about an hour out from there. And it's not necessarily in a super populated area. That's, the, that's why I'm afraid of looking for this one. It's one where I know is not necessarily... That's, maybe it's in a populated place, but it's not necessarily in a super populated area. And I think it's further north. You know what? I know that it's in higher altitude. So if we can find higher altitude, well, you know what? It's not like it goes up a mountain. I'm going to follow highways. So I'm going to look at this highway structure right here. Like, what's this area? Hopefully I strike dumb luck and I find good old, good old AT&T field in, it's not, it's not just in a green place. Okay, I take that back. The, the stadium, you'll see green stuff like this around the stadium. You will. But when you overlook left field, you do see buildings. So this could be that area. So I don't know what this place is, though. And I forget what the county is called as well. Is it Kern, Kern County? No, that's no, that's where I am. It's something county. Is it Cook, Cook County? Shoot, it's been way too long to find the last six stadiums, guys. Or five, I think, now. This was the major highway. Okay, so these okay, so these are the two major highway things, whatever. Maybe it's not an hour out. Maybe that's an exaggeration. Let's follow this for a little while. Okay, if I drew the lines, Georgia probably does like that. So Atlanta's near the northern area of Georgia already. I guess Atlanta's not near water on this side either. So I, I think it's north, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's south. Atlanta might be the second highest elevation park in Major League Baseball. Colorado Rockies, and then I think Atlanta Braves. And I think Arizona's next. I think the Chase Field is next as far as elevation goes. Two roads diverged in a wood. I chose the road not taken or less traveled, and you saw where I ended up last time. So let's try this one. Ugh, I don't know where I can find these ones, folks. I'm at a loss. Is this an airport? Yeah, this is huge. Wait till we see Denver's airport. Shoot, wait till I f see if I can find Denver. That's packed. It's not near water. It's near Rocky Mountain, so that'll help. But Rocky Mountains are big. You know, it's a big range. So finding Denver might be a adventure in itself. I'll find it when I'm looking for it. I don't know where Truist Park is, guys. Five stadiums left. I can't find two of them here. All right, I'm going to stop those for a second. I'm going to go to Seattle. Washington. I don't know where it starts and ends here. California. Woo. Oregon. Woo. Washington. Woo. Where, where are cities? Is this Vancouver? Where am I? Is that city? Oh, that's some city right there. No, but Seattle's not over here, is it? I don't know what Seattle looks like with regard to things. Am I in Alaska? Where am I? Uh. 
Oh, that looks like big stuff. Seattle. It's got to be. Where's the Space Needle? Dang, if this if if this is Seattle, this doesn't look like Seattle. What is this place? I might be in um Canada. This might be Vancouver. What are you? Is this where the Canucks play? British Columbia? Is that what we are? Rogers Arena? That's got to be Canadian. That's probably Vancouver, which is on the uh, border near Washington. Let's zoom out and see where we are. Okay, so we're at that part. Of course, I don't know if Seattle's on the northern tip, though, either. Seattle might be closer to Oregon. I think Seattle's near water. What's this? Hang on, this is kind of city-esque. Because I don't know what that is there. I'm trying to look for an identifier. Victoria. That sounds Canadian. <laughs> I don't know if it is, but it sounds it. I would think that that's that big mountain you can see from Seattle. So I think Seattle would be like... This is very... This is very residency. This is very towny. So I feel like Seattle's got to be... What's this? Is this Vancouver? No, this looks different. Oh, this is... This, here's Seattle. Here we go. There's the uh, Space Needle. All right. How did I not see this before? Let me zoom out. Oh, interesting. Okay, I was looking at these parts here. Seattle's this part. So it's near water. A lot of big cities are near water, right? Atlanta's not, but... Now, where is Safe... T-Mobile Park? It's not Safeco Field. I want to call it Safeco Field. There, here we go. That's the uh, Football Stadium Century Link, and right next to it, Safeco Field. Stop the timer. All right. It's called Safeco Field here. T-Mobile Park, it's now known as. This was built in either 99 or 2000. Retractable roof. It's beautiful. Uh, this outside does kind of remind me of that city field thing like I talked about, the way that kind of curves through. Griffey did play here as a Mariner before he was traded to the Reds, and or before he joined the Reds, and then after the White Sox, he came back. It's kind of near downtown. Like I was saying, the football shot here, there, there were some shots from the football stadium where you can see that mountain. See that? Football stadium, boom, you can see the mountain with some shots there. It's kind of cool. Anyway, Safeco Field. Cool. Got one off the list, but that was like an easier one. I'm going to go check out Colorado because it's the only one I haven't looked for yet. Let's go ahead and start the timer again, and let's find Colorado. Let's start with finding Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake. That's in Utah. That might be the Great Salt Lake. So Utah, California, Nevada. Does Colorado sit on Utah's... Uh, let's find the Rocky Mountains. I've been to Denver. My brother-in-law is from there, and Denver is in a flat part in a flat part i'm not saying it's not high altitude it's just in a flat part it's not like boulder that's right next to the mountains and such denver's in a flat part but if i find the rocky mountains i know that denver's kind of east of it i think utah sits like boom like that maybe this is colorado like right here maybe these are the rockies here okay let's pretend these are the rocky mountain ranges the cities are east of it like this is city right here right that's that's harder to place but that's clearly not denver this is city right here but that's probably really far out I'm probably in a different state here now. Natrona Mustangs. I don't know what Natrona is. Oh, and by the way, and, and I've been to Coors Field, which is in downtown. It's literally when you're driving on streets and stuff. It's it's right in downtown. So I'll know where it is once I find Denver. See, maybe the Rockies aren't snow covered. Maybe I'm being misled by the idea that what I'm looking at is the Rockies when it's not because I'm assuming that I'll see snow. Maybe these are the Rocky Mountains. This looks more populated. I'm going to err to the side of these being the Rocky Mountains. I, I think I was too convinced these are the Rocky Mountains because it's white. This looks kind of white, snow-capped. Maybe these are the Rocky Mountains here. Because I, I, I was having too much... Okay, because here's city. I was having way too much trouble. There we go. This See, this looks a little more like Colorado. Ah, what do we have here? Buildings and Coors Field. Ah, there we go. Stop the timer. I was too far north. Those were not the Rockies. Coors Field. Here we go. Kind of that same look as the other things. It's not very, uh, you know, it's not very grand on the outside. You know, you just drive by this stuff. I once drove by this stuff. I didn't even realize I was right, right next to a ballpark. It's kind of weird. It's hard to explain. It's right in downtown stuff. It's like, boom, right there. High, high elevation, highest elevation out there. Very huge dimensions. I think they made this wall taller, and they, they put the baseballs in humidifier stuff now. They did cool renovations up here. They used to have like purple seat. I think they sell a purple seat across here, but a purple seat that marks exactly a mile high. There it is. Okay, let's cross Coors Field off the list. Now only got to find parks that I can't find. So Truist Park in Atlanta, Globe Life Park in Arlington, and the city of Tampa Bay. <laughs> let's do that again. Search here again. The city of Tampa Bay has got to be by water. How about this? How far is 
Tampa Bay from Miami. I don't want to see any things. Four hours. Oh, shoot. I just I gave something away. Whoopsie. Sorry. Well, I did. I was going to see how many miles it was for me. Okay. So at least I, I, I cheated. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know that was going to pop up. I just wanted miles. So it is somewhere over here then. What the heck is this thing? Is there a chance this is Tampa Bay? Go Bolts. Tampa, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Lightning. This is Tampa Bay. I found Tampa Bay. Okay, wait. Time out. Before I, before I search in there, that's Tampa Bay right there. Baseball stadium is not right in Tampa Bay, though. So this must be where the Lightning play. It's not really on water. I mean, there was a shot of it on water, but it's not like on water, on water. That, that was a bit of a... It misled me. Oh, here's Raymond James Stadium. It's brown. Let's see. So let's see how far away that is from. So there's downtown, and there's that. Let's see if the Rays play close by, huh? I might have given up as far as like not doing. I have to do more Google searches. Saint Petersburg, Florida. Let's see if I was right when I said that it's near Tampa Bay. At least. Okay. So Saint Petersburg is this. So Tampa. Okay, where was it downtown Tampa Bay? So this is St. Petersburg. Oh, see, I cheated. Stop the clock. I cheated. That's okay. I knew this was in St. Petersburg, though. I had to cheat. So here's, this is how much it wouldn't have helped me. And I'll, and I'll try to remember where it is. Here's Tampa Bay. Here's Tampa Bay. We are the Tampa Bay Rays. This is why people complain about where Tampa Bay, uh, where the stadium is right now. Because they want to get a stadium that's like right here. So here's Tampa Bay. Here's Raymond James Stadium. I'm supermaning it. Here's Ray Raymond James Stadium. Here. It's easy to find now that it sticks up. Here is Tropicana Field. It's always easy to find when you zoom out from it. Wee! Hey, guys, Tropicana. Hey, look, guys, you want to find Tropicana? Oh, I'm in South America. Oh, no biggie. Let's just go to Florida and, um, and, um, boom, Tropicana. <laughs> But let's cross it off the list. All right, Truist Park. Start the timer. Let's do Georgia first. Let's do this one more time, and then I'm looking for Arlington after that. I'm guessing somewhere near Dallas. It's got to be somewhere near Dallas. Atlanta's here. See, the problem is I don't even know what city it's in. It's called Cobb County? Did I say Cook County before? Is it Cobb County, Georgia? It might be Cobb County. You know what? Let's break from this one for a bit. I'm going to try and do the Globe Life Field one again. All right, so here are the big places. This was... Was this Houston or... Toyota Center. I think that was the Rockets. So this is probably Houston. Yep, there's Minute Maid Park. That's Houston. This one was Dallas because of that tower thingy. What's this? Huh? Oh, no. Ford something. Ford Cowboys? Wait a minute. Is this it? What's this? That's not their stadium. What is this? But that's that's a good sign. I might be in Arlington. <gasps> Give me something about AT&T Stadium. See, I, I can't find things straight up, but give me something about these in a different way. AT&T Stadium. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that stadium right here. Arlington, yeah. Arlington, Texas. Stadium in Arlington, Texas. So wherever this is, is also where Globe Life Field and stuff is. So I'm going to do Arlington, Texas in the search. I officially am cheating it. Arlington, sorry. Yeah, Arlington, Texas. There's Dallas. There's Arlington. All right, let's close that out. So I wasn't looking in the right spots here. So now we're in Arlington. Where's downtown Arlington? Oh, there's AT&T Stadium. That helps. Okay, I was nowhere near the right spot. And hey, there's uh, the old stadium. The new one must be under construction. So, okay, stop the timer. This is where it's under construction here. So we don't have the new one. Here's the old one, ballpark in Arlington. I don't know why that thing looks white, whatever. It was always a cool stadium. I liked it. Arlington, so not right. Here's Dallas. Not right near Dallas, Texas. Arlington, Texas is way over here. I'm going to get AT&T Stadium right there. All right, one more to look for, and I'm going to do Cobb County, Georgia. That's all I think that I know about it. Cobb County, Georgia. That's my only guess I can go by because I'm running out of room on my computer. Eight gigabytes left. I got to find a way to edit this thing down so that it's not doing whatever there. So close this out. Boom. 
Let's see if we can find SunTrust. Well, actually, I'm going to zoom out. Where's Atlanta? Oh, this is Atlanta right here. So maybe it's not in Cobb County. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's not an hour away. Or maybe this is an hour drive and I don't even know it. Can we find SunTrust Park? Oh, start the timer. Can we find SunTrust Park? Is it actually in Cobb County? Do I remember things in my head correctly? Come on, find it. See, this stuff looks very... Oh, th yeah, there it is. Here it is. I looked way far away. SunTrust is truest. Stop the timer. It's my last one. Truest Park right here in Cobb County. There's Atlanta. I think, I guess. That's not an... Is that an hour away? That's not an hour away. I must have gotten my wires crossed somewhere. I like SunTrust Park. It's cool. So let's see. Truest Park is right here. And Atlanta is right there. Is that an hour drive? Okay, so I crossed them all out. Truist Park done. I cheated. Texas done. So I cheated for the last three, sorta. I did by finding them around things that I think that they... I guess I knew where Arlington... I guess I knew it was in Arlington, so that was cheating. No, I said AT&T Stadium, so I didn't cheat that way. Okay, so that's going to be it for me then, guys. This was, took me two hours, 40 minutes with cheating to figure out where all the stadiums were. I thought this would take an hour at most, and that was really, I think, pushing it one of the ways there. I guess I don't know my ballparks as much as I thought I did, but uh, that was quite a tour, guys. It was fun to start off with. It no longer ended up being fun by the end of it. Maybe if I try it again with a video, I can do bam, bam, bam and find him very fast for you. It's kind of fun to find out where they are in relation to everything else, though. All right, that'll do it for me, guys. Take care.